Black Mirror season four is now on Netflix and I am here to talk about the first episode of season four which is USS Callister. Now to me it was a very good episode but it wasn't necessarily a good start for the big anticipation of season four. I probably wouldn't have necessarily started with this episode because to me it didn't really feel like it had the essence of a Black Mirror episode. It just didn't feel very Black Mirror-y to me. But it is dripping with the effects of technology on humans. Now this episode focuses on a game simulation and now this particular game simulation has been modified so it looks like a TV show. Now the TV show is called something else in the episode but it is emulating Star Trek. So essentially the theme of USS Callister it's about mixing ego, the human ego, with technology. Uh, so it was very fascinating stuff when we start focusing on the technology part of Black Mirror but I do feel the the Star Trek theme distracts from the context of the episode and it was such a shame because it just relies too heavily on this facade. Uh, it's just focusing too much on all the Star Trek stuff on the sets and the costumes and the way that they need to play it that it it doesn't necessarily hit home when it comes to the context about what it is actually saying in this episode. If you was to strip away that Star Trek setting, I really do think you'd have this pseudo Matrix Inception Tron construct. Essentially that idea of what can a person become with this kind of technology at hand. So Jesse Plemons is the main character in this and it was really interesting to see him in a lead role. He doesn't get many lead roles, he's always like the supporting and it was very interesting to see him uh, show both sides of this character. So some excellent acting going on. Uh, it really was fascinating to see how the power over the people in the game um, how he used that power in the game because he didn't have the confidence to use power in his position in the real world. Now it begs the question of whether is this a bad person? He's using all his energy, all his bad feelings to save it for a game and not use it in the real world. Does this make him a bad person? Uh, you know, leaving that kind of behaviour for a game rather than the real world. But to quote the Joker, <laughs> just one bad day. You know, you are, we're all just one bad day away from being an absolute psychopath. And I feel like this character is clearly one step away in the real world from being an absolute psychopath because that is essentially what he is, what the character is, he's stretching that psychopath muscle in the game simulation. So again, it's uh, asking the question of, are we releasing that kind of anger in games such as Call of Duty and GTA and things like that? So it's always that question of when does game simulation cross over to reality and when does reality cross over into game simulation so it's all really fascinating stuff. So we've got that part of the episode playing out whilst another part is exploring the ideas of the morals of cloning. You know it opens up that debate as well on whether clones have memories uh, a, a lot of people are very passionate about this so it opens up that discussion and here we're looking at DNA digital clones and it's that idea of what at what point does technology and if we're talking about digital clones become sentient and have the same right as humans it's all in there it's all Black Mirror-esque context I just felt like it relied too heavily on the Star Trek influence. 
But I have to say, Jimmy Simpson pulls out a really compelling performance, which was enough to keep me really excited about this episode. I think if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be talking about it the way I am right now. So thanks, Jimmy Simpson, for being an awesome actor. So that's pretty much my feelings on the first episode of season four of Black Mirror. What did you think of it? Please leave your thoughts and feelings in the comment box below and like the video and check out my other Black Mirror reviews and 